So now it's time for vlog number two for today, and this one is going to cover the latest film from Illumination, Sing. Written and directed by Garth Jennings and starring Matthew McConaughey, Reese Witherspoon, Seth MacFarlane, Scarlett Johansson, and a whole bunch of other people. McConaughey provides the voice for Buster Moon, a koala that owns a theater that was once a very popular hotspot in town, but has since kind of lost its popularity and is now in danger of foreclosure. But he gets a brilliant idea for bringing the theater back to prominence. A singing competition. And after a series of auditions, he picks up several contestants for his competition, including a neglected housewife, a girl whose boyfriend has been holding her back, an egotistical crooner, a boy who's been working for his father's gang, but deep down he just wants to sing, and various other cliches. And they're all animals, for... some reason. Yeah, I'm... I'm still trying to figure that out. Why are they animals? I didn't understand it in the trailer. I didn't understand it when I saw the actual movie. It serves no purpose apart from a few sight gags, really. I suspect the fine folks at Illumination found out Disney was making a movie with a bunch of anthropomorphic animals and thought, hey, we can do that too! Without realizing that when Disney was making Zootopia, the characters being animals actually had a point. In Sing, the characters are animals because someone thought it'd be cute. It's like the old Disney animated Robin Hood. They're animals because... why not? But all that being said, I thought this movie was perfectly fine. The story, it's fine. The characters, they're fine. The voice acting, it's fine. The songs, they're fine. The singing, Singing was more than fine, really. They did a really good job with the singing. I will give them that. I should hope they would in a movie called Sing. One thing I didn't really care for is how the story ends, because without giving too much away, Buster lies to the contestants about... something. And, of course, they eventually find out he was lying, and you would think this would lead to a huge conflict between Buster and the... people in the singing competition, but... Instead, this conflict is resolved entirely too quickly. It's not so much resolved as swept under the rug. But otherwise, there's really not a whole lot to complain about, I suppose. There's nothing offensively bad about any of this, but there's nothing that really stands out either. It's just... fine. And I'm having trouble coming up with more things to say about this movie because, honestly... There's not much to talk about. It's just... It's fine. That's it. I can't really give it a strong recommendation. I don't think I would say you should pay money to see this in a theater. But if you want to rent it, knock yourself out. If your kids want to see it, fine. Nothing wrong with that. You could do worse. But it's not really worth going out of your way to see. And that about does it for Sing. Till next time, take care.